Hi, my name is Oscar Villa Gomez. Uh, my class that I'm doing is Logistics Transportation. It is December 4th, 2022. In this project, we were uh, told to pick a mode of transportation, which was either mortar, ocean, railroad, or pipeline. I've decided to pick the mortar carrier side of it, more of a truck driver. The truck driver, uh, very self-explanatory. They transport product from A to B and make sure they get there on time. They are very useful on the transportation part of it just because that's how we transport things nowadays. We relied a lot on truck drivers, especially if we're on the motor side of the transportation part. Truck drivers are very essential Without them, nothing would be getting done around here. Believe it or not, we use them for anything that we can think of. Their starting salary varies very much. It could be from 73K to all the way up towards close to 300K. It depends on what type of things that you're moving around or you're transporting. For example, if you're a, a ice road driver, you're looking at about 65k a year the ice road drivers are basically in charge of driving through the snow through the ice roads very dangerous you also have the oversized low drivers they make about 71k a year they in the highways when we're driving we see all the signs of wide load for the truck drivers those are, those are there those those are what they are they drive wide things that don't fit on a regular truck and transport it from A to B. There's a lot of laws and regulations they have to follow. There has to be people that um, are leading them, making sure that the police is aware of the situation as well. Another one is special vehicles one. They transport special vehicles, luxury vehicles. We're talking about Lamborghinis, Ferraris, very, very expensive cars. They are paid about 82000 82k a year those they make money they make good money just because how they transport the expensive stuff you have to know what you're transporting you got to make sure that they're all locked in into one place they're not moving they can't have any scratches another one is the uh, team drivers they make about 96k a year the only thing about those is that they normally have one or two drivers no, normally they have two drivers in the truck at all times and they don't stop. They go from point A to point B without stopping. They each have a set of hours that they can only drive for so long and they have to be able to stay within those hours. The good thing about that is that they transport things quicker and for companies that's a cheaper thing because that salary divides up into two persons. Another one would be a private fleet driver. Private fleet drivers are probably where you want to be at, where I would like to be at if I had to pick a career there. They make about 95K to 110K a year. They get a lot of benefits, and most of the time they only work through the week. Private carriers would be something like Walmart. They have very good benefits. <clears throat> the only downside to it is that they do require a lot of years of experience. There's another one that uh, I found uh, pretty interesting was the liquid and tankers. Those are the guys that transport all the gases, all the oil, all the petroleum. They get paid about 88K a year. You would think they would pay, get paid more just because of how hazardous it is to transport those things. A quick stop, a quick movement, any type of crash, a little bit of fire can be deadly. So I would, thought, I would think they would get paid more, but I was surprised when I looked did a little research on it that's all they got paid uh, another one that i was interested on too as well that i found was owners of operation so the guys that own a fleet of trucks of truck drivers and or they rent out their drive their trucks to drivers they get paid about 247k a year now that's just the money side too it doesn't include the wages that you have to give out to the drivers doesn't include uh, laws and regulations that you have to pay for each truck. Doesn't include all the maintenance fees, all the things that you have to fix in 
the trucks so it's just the amount of money that you're taking in so if you really think about it if you're an owner of some trucks it'll be tough but again i would think uh, a good way for me to start just regular driving getting stuff from point a to point b and uh, getting some experiences getting some years of experiences in there um some good things about it is that you get to travel a lot you are always on the move you're doing something the downside to it is that you're away from home a lot you don't you won't be at home for a week it could be for months it could be but the pay is worth it and it is a very important part of the trans of the cycle of transportation things of transporting goods just because in today's society that's what is moving everything even money to a point truck drivers are moving that they need paper to to print out um any type of bill so you need those um i would say that overall during this doing this research it was very eye catching of how much truck drivers make they are uh, we're doing some projects that we've done in the past they are very important to the cycle and we don't see it but i think waging wages wise they get good money they get a good amount of money and they are good they're well taken care of depending on the company yeah so that's the one i picked and if i ever run out of a job i think that's it's a good way to go to it.